Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be showing you a solo flawless run of this season's exotic mission which is called Starcrossed. It is accessed from the helm and upon completion you get the Wishkeeper exotic bow. It's a strand bow. I haven't used it yet but it looks very interesting. It probably will have a lot of utility especially for ad clear and so on and so forth. Now all you can, in the background you can see all the weapons, all the mods, all the art, my artifact. You can see everything that I'm using in this. Uh, I'm showing you what I'm using in case you want to, you know, use similar stuff to what to what I used. But honestly, you probably could do this mission with uh, pretty much any setup. Solar is being uh, pushed quite heavily this season, and it's the reason why I'm using. Uh, it's the reason why I'm using Sunshot because it buys into the fragments and aspects of the solar subclass so in this mission there are basically uh one of one real mechanic uh split into a couple of sections that you you will learn as you go through and that is acquiring buffs one is called Sy uh, sire's obligation and the other one is called dam's gift one lets you see symbols the other lets you enter areas that you would be slowed and hurt within otherwise and you'll have to go and kill uh, some mini bosses to acquire uh, that symbol if you like you have to do them in order and there will be a key somewhere on the map that shows you the order of which you have to kill them that's basically it uh, each each of the buffs has a 45 second timer uh, after the 45 seconds is up you need to refresh the buff and then when you get to the end area the both buffs need to be collected to create a third buff which is called uh, Crowned by Dragons. And you need to have Crown with Dragons to complete. You need to keep that. Now, once you get Crown with Dragons, which is obviously collecting both bu both buffs, uh, you only need to step inside one of the buffs to refresh it. So that, that's kind of the way the buffs work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to clear some of these enemies. I don't... You can run past most of the enemies... Uh, but uh, in the first area, we will, we, we will be focusing on killing some of the enemies, but not not too many of them. So this this uh, taking Centurion is going to be the kind of this is kind of what you'll be facing in most of the areas. The uh, when it comes to collecting the buff, and as you can see, I burst them down by using a couple of couple of. Uh, couple of hits from my fusion rifle, a shot with sunshot to proc bait and switch on my rocket launcher. I still have to hit with the rocket launcher and then you get however many seconds, what's it, seven or eight seconds of bait and switch, which if you need to, which you shouldn't for these bosses, you uh, you can shoot your second shot off if you have reconstruction, which I do, you'll shoot your second shot off and then you can reload and shoot another one. It, it doesn't go away when you reload. So. In this area, you could have seen we got Sire's Obligation. And then I went down to the front to see the key, which shows you uh, which order you need to kill these. Uh, you can see, what, what, what's that? Oh, is that Audurate Phalanx? Yeah, Audurate Phalanx. Bunging the names, I, I swear to God. Half the names <laughs> that they use... And, and I class myself as, I am not a stupid person, but I have never heard of half the names they use for this the, this game. I'm sure that they get a Scrabble, a box of Scrabble, and they just throw it out. And then try and make words out of the mess that's in front of them. So, top tips for this area. Every time you kill one of the phalanxes, uh, you will get, as you can see there, at the top right, you will get Cyclopses, and you'll get... To go with the Cyclopses, you will get uh, a bunch of Vex that will come in. I do not bother about them at all because if you're moving, you're okay. The biggest thing here is making sure you keep your your grenade. You can see if I am going to be fighting in an area where there's more than one Phalanx, uh, more than one Cyclops, I will kill the, the Cyclopses there. Now, for taking out these enemies, as you can see, Chill Clip will freeze them, which makes it very light work. You have to kill them in order. If you kill out of order, 
uh, you it will reset your your progress and you'll have to start all over again. So it is worthwhile making sure that you when you go to get if you forget the order you're supposed to do it in uh, when you refresh your buff go and check the key again which is down by the exit that we just came through it'll be above in a straight line you go from top to bottom and make sure you're getting the right one uh, and that, that's basically it just uh, yeah just make sure you do it in order uh, the, the locations of the enemies are always the same but the symbols aren't so it's not that fire breathing dragon to the uh, uh, dragon breathing fire to the left will always be on the left side it won't but there will always be one boss in the middle one boss on the left one boss on the right so in this area we get the second of our buffs which is dam's gift which allows us to go through these areas unscathed it allows us to come in here and kill these enemies unscathed if you do not have the buff or you lose it when you're in here you will be slowed and you will start to take damage. You have to make sure that you have that buff. The idea is, as you can see here, you kill the wyvern, and then you go up here and you imbue the paracausal uh, energy, and you have to do that to access the trans mechanism, which is basically a portal. You have to do that in three different areas. So what I do, you can go in between the areas. You can actually access all three areas once you go in one, like here, I'll just put down my healing grenade and then I'm just going to kill some enemies just to keep, as you can see, I'm extending my restoration. Uh, the cool thing about restoration is it kind of overrides the buff in here. So uh, if you if you lose your, uh, your dam's gift while you're in here, you will be slowed. But if you have restoration, it will counteract that and keep healing you till you can get out. So as you can see here, I am actually, I think, going to take the shortcut, do I? Yes. So this shortcut I'm taking now takes you between left and right uh, areas. So I don't have a healing need here. There is a sniper up top. Now what I do with snipers normally, you can see there, I, I, I was too accurate there. I normally shoot the sniper's heads off and then they can't shield. Uh, so, let's we'll see if we get him here. I don't think I needed it. So, I can refresh in, in these areas, in these little back areas. You can refresh your buff and it brings you out in the back area of this, uh, this, this uh, the back of this area. So, this is the third area. So, same thing again. We'll have a wiper and a bunch of enemies. I'm just trying to keep my restoration up and get rid of some of these enemies so that I can focus on the wiper. There he is. One. And then happen with the fusion and there we go now I can finish him and once we do this once you uh, deposit imbue the, the power causal entity uh, uh, energy you don't take any damage in that area once 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 you've done the third one so it takes away the, the this you know that this area is done correctly then so you make sure, in this area, it doesn't matter which one you do, there's no symbols, because, you know, we, we, the only time you'll deal with symbols is if you need, you, you, you are collecting Sire's Obligation. So you can see there, I've shot the sniper's head off, uh, which means he can't shield, he'll go a bit crazy, and then we can, we can kill him. In this area, I'm just going back here to get some heavy, you have to kill all the enemies. Now you've got those three snipers you've got a bunch of hobgoblins you have the wyvern and you also have a vex gate lord so what i'm doing is i'm getting this guy out the way i've got the snipers out the way and then i'm going to pop my super which will kill all the little guys just about maybe not all of them but it'll do good damage to to this guy and then what i'll do is throw another one and then i'll jump up top i'll put down my rift and then we'll just hopefully we won't have to hit them with too much and just put a couple on them there and then the second one should kill them and then just finish up the last of the hobgoblins and that is this area complete now i am moving pretty quickly well, not moving pretty quickly but i'm trying to do this efficiently because there is a triumph 
for solo. There's a triumph for solo flawless. And there was a triumph for completing it under 20 minutes. This is a 16, just over a 16 minute run. And I did not get the triumph for under 20 minutes. And it seems like either it's been wrongly coded or wrongly worded. Because it seems like you have to actually do it in under 15 minutes to get that triumph. Now, since there is no uh, emblem or anything uh, for it, I, I might give it a go, but I'm not too fussed in getting it any faster than this. I would if there was a reason to do it other than a little bit of triumph score. Uh, but in saying that, you, you guys know me. I'll probably go after it. <laughs> so that is the second of our areas. Now we're just going to traverse to the, the next area and you don't have to kill these ads. You can just run right past them. There is no reason to kill them other than the reason why I'm killing them is just to pick up a little bit of ammo. Uh, I, I, enjoy, I I like this mission, if I'm being honest. I, I do enjoy it. It's, I mean, it's, it's not difficulty wise, it's not on a par with some of the other ones we've had. But the thing I like about it is it's it's a nice little easy mission. Not to say that I want nice little easy missions. I mean, I think Bungie sometimes confuses enjoyment with difficulty. You know, challenge, certainly. Difficulty, yeah, after a while it's like, oh cool, another really difficult mission. Um, and then, you, you know, you, you get it done and people are like, oh yeah, easy for you and it's like oh man I wish they would just bring something that's it's not so much you've got to jump around spin around 360 times and you know move at the speed of light and be able to grapple punch everything that you see I wish they'd bring something out with strategy as opposed to you know repeatability anyway I digress this is the final area before the boss. You can see there, I, I've come over to the left to get Sire's Obligation. This is the first place you have to get both buffs. Uh, the Vex that you go past will eventually despawn. So as you can see, I've picked up... I nearly died there because I, I thought I could jump right through there. I have picked up Sire's Obligation. Then I've got Dam's, uh, Dam's Gift. Which gives me crowned with dra crowned by dragons. That is the buff you get by collecting both buffs. In this area and the boss, you need both, and you need both to get in here. Again, if you lose them, it's no different from the other areas. If you lose them, you start getting damaged in this area. So you have to because because there's a key, because there is a list of figures, a list of symbols. You have to do them in order, which will give you a line of text. If you get two lines of text, then you've done it wrong. So you can see we've got uh, Dragon Breathing Fire to the left, which is this guy in the middle. Uh, there's a lot of enemies around, and I'm, I have my super. I could use it, but it just makes the last area really easy. If, if, I, uh, if I save save it to the, the end, I can, I can kill the last guy pretty easy and what I've noticed the very last guy seems to have more enemies he has a wizard as well uh, so I'm just uh, readying up making sure I keep my buff now the thing about star Cro uh, the thing about crowned by dragons is it is the amalgamation of collecting both buffs you only need to step inside one of them to re regain the buff so you don't have to collect both, you know, as long as it doesn't run out, you see there's 29 minutes. If I just go through one, it refreshes the buff. I don't have to constantly collect both buffs to keep the buff going. So this is the last one. I have my super, which I'm not using Will Radiant, so I'm using Dawn Blade. And I am using Dawn Chorus to go with that. Dawn Chorus increases uh, your Scorch effects and basically makes your super more powerful but it also works with stuff like Sunshot and your melee. It just improves the Scorch effects. Now, as you can see, that's the third one done. We do have a rally flag, so we can we want to bother about using our super right there. Uh, now, if you're worried about this area, I did see this, although I wouldn't, I don't think it's needed. You can actually, there's a thing you can do, you can jump on this ledge with that kind of, 
laser grid is. You can jump on that ledge and shoot through it with some sort of weapon. I, I, I honestly don't know. Because this is very simple. Come in, burst your super straight down on the boss. You can see it does really decent damage on the boss. And then just go over here, refresh your buff. There is a there is a place you can refresh your buff right here. And you'll have two of these guys. So what I'm trying to do, I actually am going to lose. No, I'm not going to lose my restoration. I'm trying to keep my restoration going. Because we're going to have this guy right in front of us. And I'll just finish him. Refresh the buff. Now you need the buff. Uh, to deal damage to the boss. You need crown with dragons to deal damage to the boss. And there's my second guy. I'm just trying to take any of the Vex guys out that are pushing me. Once these you kill these two guys, they don't come back. The 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 hobgoblins will keep coming back. You might get I don't, I don't think I do. I can't remember if I get another wave of the harpies, but I definitely get a few waves of the the Vex. These things, those little projectiles, will, uh, if they're allowed to come at you, will create a force field around you that you've got to break out of. One shot with your chill clip uh, fusion will break it. And now what I'm going to do is just fire a couple of rockets. And I, I didn't know there was one still up. And there we go. I just get my restoration going here. Um, refresh my buff before it runs out. And you can see there, one burst of your fusion when those projectiles hit you is more than enough. I've almost got my super, and once I get my super, my super is going to finish this boss. Uh, and, and that's basically it. This is, this is a good safe area. There is another buff on the other side if you fancy going over the other side. But I found that this was a really good place to be. Uh, and there we go. This should just absolutely melt this boss. And... There you go, Star Cross Mission, Solo Flawless. Uh, top tips for this is make sure, do whatever you need to do to keep your restoration grenade coming back as quickly as possible. Make sure when you pop, you, you throw your grenade that you can get a kill within the first three seconds and then maybe have a, con a couple of ads around to kill to keep your restoration going. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I will see you all in the very next video.